Arrowman, please welcome the National Chief of the Order of the Arrow, John Rem. Brothers, we last gathered at the 2009 NOAC, the theme was a power of one. During the conference, we focused on how one person has the power to change the world. Patrick Henry once said, united we stand, divided we fall. And history has shown that anything great, such as the civil rights movement, sending a man to the moon, or even inventing the iPhone, was not accomplished by just one person. Each event had a person with an idea, had the courage to step up. But it wasn't until more people followed along that the big picture became apparent. Think of it as a puzzle where each of us represents a single piece that's unique to ourselves. It isn't until all the pieces are placed that realize what the bigger picture is. It takes the power of one to lay the first piece, but the power of many to complete it. Thus, it's only right that our section chiefs chose the theme, United We Leave a Legacy. I want you now to take a moment and look around the arena. There are 7,000 people from all across the country here right now. In the past year, I visited with the brothers of Weatava Lodge in the Western region, with the airmen of Noke Lodge in the Central region, the members of the famous Unami Lodge of the Northeast, and last but not least, our brothers in Manu Lodge in the Southern region. Each lodge and each member our unique piece of the OA puzzle. I also want to give a shout out to the newest lodge in the nation, Pavunga of the Long Beach Council. The word Pavunga translates in the gathering place, and the totem for the new lodge is a porpoise. This is the first new lodge to be formed without a merger since 1970. And I want to take a moment now and speak directly to the members of Pavunga. <laughs> Guys, you're about to embark on a great adventure. With the ability to choose the destination is all up to you. You've already taken the first steps by establishing your lodge name and totem and coming here this week. But now, <laughs> now comes the fun part. With the foundation set, it now comes with the knowledge that you can learn from this week. You see, the power of the OA lies in opportunities that it provides. But in order to gain the power, you must first be willing to seek out the opportunities. I encourage you this week to take advantage of what NOAC has to offer, to try something new, to do something extraordinary. And that goes for all of you. We're surrounded by 7,000 of our brothers who are ready to lend a helping hand through anything. I've witnessed firsthand the power of a group. During last summer's OA Summit Corps, airmen came from all across the country to help develop the new Summit Bechtel Reserve in West Virginia. And I was lucky enough to serve as a member on the Instructor Corps, where each week I'll take a crew of five to seven youth and adults out on the trail. And each week, I ask my crew a simple question of why. Why are you here? And many would say they're here to be close to the new summit site. But week two, an airman, about 15 years old, came up to me and he said, John, I'm here to be part of something bigger than myself. I was profound. I was astonished that a guy who's only three years younger than myself had this insight of the Oro of the Arrow. And so naturally, I asked him a few more questions, such as like, where you're from, what's your favorite hobbies, your favorite color, until I realized that Kyle 
was truly one of our best airmen. He said that he didn't find a home until he joined his local troop in Nebraska. He shared how when he attended his first lodge fellowship, his lodge chief sat down and asked him what he enjoyed doing. He was shocked that anyone would care about what he thought. And after some conversation, the chief encouraged him to try out for the ceremony team. He was hesitant at first, but decided to go for it. With the help of his fellow ceremonialists, he became Alawasakima in the ordeal ceremony. Eventually, winning first place as Sections Conclave. Our legacy of brotherhood gave this airman a home and helped him find his purpose in his vast organization, all because someone took an interest, took the time to hear what he had to say. This airman found where his piece of the puzzle fit in. His story reminded me a lot of myself. For the better part of my high school life, I was constantly trying to figure out what I was good at, where my piece of the puzzle fit in. I joined clubs such as student council and Spanish club, and realized all they did was plan dances, and did fundraising. I even joined the track team, and let's just say, I'm not exactly made for running. It wasn't until I became involved in the Order of the Arrow that I found how my piece of the puzzle fit. It's our brotherhood. For you see, at the time of my life working on the 2010 Order of the Arrow Jamboree Service Corps, even though I knew absolutely no one that was there, and I mean no one, I was so nervous that I would never fit in that on the car ride down, I almost told my parents to turn around but luckily, they uh, forced me to go, mainly because they paid my fee, so. <laughs> However, when I met the guys in my tent, the infamous men of tent D9, we quickly learned that we had a lot in common. First of all, we all knew the admonition. We shared similar high school drama, and we're all confused at the fact that we're paying the work. But what truly inspired me was when the service corps was cleaning up trash after the opening show. We stayed up until early hours in the morning and pouring down rain, picking up pound after pound of garbage. But you know what? The whole time we're joking around and somehow having fun. And while working in the rain, I remember Mateo's words in the ordeal. He who serves his fellows is of all his fellows greatest. Suddenly, it hit me. I was one of them. I was part of it all, of this legacy, of this puzzle. I fit in. Oftentimes, when you hear the word legacy, you think of the past. However, the legacy I am talking about is what we are creating for the future. It can be something as simple as sitting down and talking to a new airman to help him find his unique piece of the order of the arrow puzzle. So this week, take advantage of what is around you. Learn not only from the trainings and the shows, but from those around you. I challenge each of you to absorb as much as you can from this conference, to learn from others, and then take it back to your home lodge and use that knowledge to continue our great legacy and to piece together our vast puzzle. What we do during this conference will be the mark that will be remembered when we celebrate our 100th anniversary at the 2015 NOAC. Our legacy came about from an experiment which happened only 97 years ago. The reason it thrives today is because we are living our obligation. By adding our own piece to the puzzle, we know as the order of the arrow. United, we truly will leave a legacy.